What's up, my boys? We are running out of content ideas, as you can see, but we thought that this would be fun. The first fact that you did not know about me is that I used to dance ballet on a very professional level and I was just about to reach the cream of the crop when my hip decided to fall apart and I had to get two hip injuries. Hips don't lie. So I was actually about to go for auditioning at the Royal Theatre in Denmark, which is basically the highest level you can reach within the Danish borders. So, um, but hey, I'm not the only one who had a professional sport career. Yeah, because, we, um, we, we're starting out with facts where we sort of congratulate ourselves for <laughs> uh, how amazing we are. Were. <laughs> I used to play uh, ice hockey on uh, a high level. I was actually on the national team in uh, junior hockey. And a lot of the other players uh, I played with, they are now in NHL, earning millions where I took a more creative turn <laughs> working five years as a phone supporter. I did not like pizza until 2016 where Jung convinced me to try a pizza again. I'm just gonna break in here and say it was a deal breaker. We met each other in 2016 I said Amelia I cannot trust people who don't eat pizza. When I was a kid I just didn't like pizza. I thought it was boring and I didn't enjoy it at all. So when I got older and I realized how unhealthy pizza is, I basically decided there's no reason for me to try and eat pizza again. But then when I met Jon, he was like, well, if you don't eat pizza, get out of here. And then I started eating pizza. And I do like it, actually. And, now she's and I'm so sad that I like it because it's so unhealthy. Unlike candy and chocolate bars, right? Speaking of unhealthy, but also one of the joys of a good life is something that's very similar to this. In but the color. This is water, though. Uh, I have tested more than a hundred different gins. I don't have the exact number, but I have had a lot of gin. My favorite gins, if you want to know, is Elephant. Amazing. That's a good one, yeah. Uh, the Botanist. Amazing. The Botanist is my favorite. And then you have the Sip Smith. The Sip Smith, but you have to get it at 57.7 um, because you can also get it at 41. Point seven, yeah, seven. you always say that. <laughs> no, but it is, there's a huge difference. I heat or reheat my coffee three to five times every day because when I wake up, I get a warm cup of coffee and then I sip it for four hours so it keeps getting cold. So I have to put it back in the microwave and then heat it. But you're, you're leaving out a lot of effects, Amelia, because I make the coffee every morning and then I give it to Amelia and it's always too hot and then she leave it until it's like uh, lukewarm. And then I drink And then it's too cold. You know, you, you take a sip, nah, and then microwave. But Amelia, she only drinks a third, maybe half of a cup. Not every day. Sometimes I finish like 75% of it. More often than that, you don't even drink it. Yo, it's yo, true. You wouldn't know, because you never put anything in the dishwasher. I know. I have had dogs my entire life. I'm a dog person. I grew up with a basset hound. I had a Saint Bernard dog. My mom, she used to love Saint Bernard. Like it was, we had like it, it was such a big dog that it weighed almost a hundred kilos. No one could go for a walk with it because it was simply too strong. And then I had a Labrador for twelve years. I haven't had a dog for the last ten years though. No, since you moved out from home, basically, oh, yeah. almost, yeah. But, but that's, it's, it's, that's about to change. So I don't suffer from actual OCD, but I definitely do suffer for some kind of thought pattern that is unhealthy. I mean, it is a level of OCD. And it comes to show in different places in our home. So I'm hanging all our laundry on the drying rack in color Tones. coordinating. <laughs> so I'm basically color, and I don't think about it. It just happens. All our cutlery are like placed in, like all the knives has to go this direction. The sharp blades has to go this direction and all the forks has to be like the same way up. And Amelia, she's like, no, I don't have severe OCD. And then when I when when I touch the the, the wash the, the laundry or 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 mix the cutlery, uh, she's like, don't do it! I can't even take the vacuum machine for a run. Because you only take it for a run, you don't vacuum clean, you just do I mean she vacuum cleans the vacuum cleaner, okay? I don't have a college degree. It's because I have a PhD from the University of Street Darkness. 
Yeah, you're so fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a lot of people think that you need to have a long education in order to do well in life, but it all, I don't think so. It all depends on what you want to do. If you want to become a doctor or a lawyer yeah, or something, there are certain fields where you have to have a certain education. But if you're a creative person, I would say that there are many ways of marketing. Ma if you're in, if you want to do marketing, there's no point in getting a, an education. I agree. In my it, it, yeah. Okay, this is a fun fact, yeah, but it's also maybe a mental <laughs> problem I have. <laughs> so every time we cross a bridge or an area that has those metal plates on top of them instead of actual concrete, I walk around it. Do you remember in, in Madeira? Come on. Come on. Think so. Come on. Come on. I mean, I like to walk on the structure, not on the things in between. So, if I'm going to do something, it's either 100% or 0%. For example, I can't be healthy unless I do it all the way. So now we're on keto and it works for me. But, it, but combining a little bit of alcohol, the good life, and also be healthy is like, nah, I'm just gonna be like full on raging alcoholic. <laughs> I only do things where I invest myself 100%. It's either full assing it or no assing it. <laughs> we have entered the category where we share fun facts about each other. And I'm gonna start with one fun fact about Jon. Bring it, girl. Jon cannot cook. He cannot cook. And he doesn't cook. Five times have I seen Jon cook since I met him. His signature dish, it's a toast with a Mickey Mouse print on top with ham and cheese in between. Sometimes he's adventure and he put like a pate in between. Okay. It's good, it's a good Amelia. The next dish that he very much... Amelia, is it good? It, yeah, I mean the toast is always good, but it's like idiots can make it. I started making when I was four. The first dish Jung would want to prepare for me when we met each other, which was so good, he said, was way overcooked pasta with a pre-board pesto and a can full of sausages that he cut into pieces and mixed. And we just met each other and I was like, oh, that's really good. But I was like, I'm so glad I had a big lunch. Trey, have you tasted my falseness sauce? My brown falseness sauce? It's a family recipe. <laughs> Do you know how it's made? It's made from pre-board uh, stock cream yeah. and okay. pre-made um, yeah. jam. So yeah, you're really good chef. We're not done yet because Amelia, she also has her flaws because although Amelia, she is an exceptional cook, she can't follow directions. She's so bad at following directions that she uh, ha will, and that she will probably burn a uh, pizza if you go buy one of those. In, in general, everything that is like made into recipes or uh, manuals, I fuck it up. Is I just wing it. The next one is that Jon is a control freak. No, I'm not. Wait, exactly. <laughs> He's the most controlling person I have met in my life. It brings in positive things when it's about career and video sometimes, but it definitely also has its down size, big downturns. Down, it has its downsizes, yeah. It's quite tricky to share ideas with Jon because when Jon has an idea there is not much wriggle room either even if it would be much better than what he has he's very like I said this so we're gonna do this I'm it's very much inspired by Steve Jobs you know and he's I, also a narcissist as you can well hear. that well that's basically what you're saying because I am the biggest control freak you've ever met I know I have control issues but your argument will, will you, usually, what is your... Uh, will so, you agree that I'm usually right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at this. Next. Amelia, she sleeps at least 9-10 hours every day. And she could no, sleep uh, uh, forever. Uh, 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 that's not correct. The reason why you think I sleep so much is because you pass out at 9 and I'm awake until 1 o'clock and then you wake up at 7 and I wake up at 10 or something. What time nine. did you wake up today? The, I, it's... This is not normal. Okay, okay. okay. This is not normal okay. though. The point is that Amelia, she can sleep 14, 15 hours every day if nobody woke her up. Yeah, if I was allowed, I would sleep most of the day for sure. Jon can not look in a mirror or even if he has to adjust the camera, 
he cannot look into the camera or in the mirror without doing his Felsner dog face. He does this thing and when I met him I realized that he also does it on selfies. It's like a thing. It's you a cannot, reflex. I if we yeah. walk past a window or anything that has a reflection, Jorn makes his dog face mouth and it's it looks like he's like a Manchester girl who like just got her hair extension and she's really feeling herself like I'm working on it. I think I have it from my mother because my mother, she when she's like you should see her passport. <laughs> Amelia, she can't be alone. Amelia, she is the most restless person I have ever met. So, for example, let's say I'm going out with a friend and we're going to have a beer, and Amelia, she's left alone home. She has to do something as well. She can't just say, "Okay, that's fine." And for example, when Amelia she goes to the grocery shop, she has not left the door down there until before she has her phone up and calling a friend. And she talks all the way down to the to the um, uh, to the grocery sh store, probably shop also while she's I talking. Yeah. yeah. And then when she's done paying for it, she calls me, and then she t we talk all the way on her way back to here. And then when she's at the front door, it's like, well, okay, I'm actually home. I mean, every time I leave the house, I will call a friend. Yeah. That's just, I mean, it's a perfect time. You like, should meditate. Meditate while walking? No. It's a perfect way to catch up with friends <laughs> and I mean, it's nice. The next one is about you. Oh, really? Whenever Jorn eats, he eats the real Ron Swanson style, where he just get a big plate of food. Give me all the bacon and eggs you have. Do you understand? I have barely put my food on my plate before you when he's finished. If I've been cooking for like five hours to make really good Mexican food, he'll probably finish it before I even I sit mean, down. Uh, to be honest, Mexican food is it takes a long time to eat because you may have to make it, but yeah, it's true. I remember when we had like a friend over for dinner and him and I, we just started eating. And you and he like finished most of the food already because <laughs> remember when we had Jonathan over for dinner? And you literally ate everything before we barely got started. Mm. Oh, she's exaggerating. <laughs> An interesting fact about Amelia is that she is dyslexic. When she looks at a text, she sees a photo. And um, that makes it hard for you to, to learn new languages. But the, the interesting thing is that Amelia, she can write uh, almost perfect uh, and well-written articles, uh, which she does for our Danish um, uh, fashion and lifestyle magazine. I don't know how that works exactly. I mean, it's only small errors here and there, but how can you be dyslexic and still write? I don't know. But that's probably one of the reasons why I have a hard time following manuals, because I kind of lose well, oh, it, really? it, 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 probably sounds, is. it sounds funny, but I think that is the reason, actually. Amelia, what is the next fact? Jon, he talks in his sleep a lot. Every night, he talks in his sleep. Every night? Every night. What he does is kind of weird, because he sits up in, this, in the bed sometimes, and he looks like a really confused monkey who's like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. And he's like, what is going on? What? What is... Are we the only one here? And then I would be like, you're dreaming, you know? They're like, I'm not dreaming. Who's upstairs? And I'm like, we don't have an upstairs. And then he will be like, okay. And then he goes back and he sleeps. So we can have full conversations. And then the day after I'll be like, do you remember that you got really confused like last night? And he would be like, no, it didn't never happened. Uh, Amelia, I think this is a conspiracy uh, because Amelia, she has never recorded any of this. She has never filled me when I'm up. Is that true? That's uh, true, up. that's true. Okay, so where is the evidence? Okay, I'm gonna give you yeah. evidence. And we'll make Tomorrow a video. Morning. We'll make a okay, video okay, where okay. we show who's right. When I met you, it was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> the final fact um, is about Amelia. And this is also interesting. Oh, you're so, such an interesting woman. So are you. Yeah. You're such an interesting woman. Yeah, I'm an interesting <laughs> woman. Amelia, she uh, gets drunk uh, after one glass of wine, but then she maintains the same level of drunkness even though she continues to drink a number of gin and tonics or more wine. She, you never get like... like plastered. Plastered, wasted, uh, you know, spring break, stupid. Get drunk before everything closes. 
But uh, that was a fun video I made. <laughs> I love talking about me. Guys, thank you for watching. And um, if you're not already subscribed, you should subscribe because we just made a poll where we asked how many of you are subscribed. And 11% says that they are not subscribed yet. Even though they are regular viewers. Yeah. So guys, subscribe, it's... like, share this video, blah, blah, blah. Do we... all these YouTube things. Thank you so much, guys. Obrigado por ver o vídeo. Até luego. Até luego.